Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with Jaspie's 10 box hack a shack basketball mixer. Let, let's let's why you hack a shack and then this happens. E shack. It's like right there on the basket. E All right. Anyhow, it's a random team break including these boxes right here. I like that blast from the past right over here. That's pretty fun. No vet common ship as usual. Now, at the end of the break, we'll re-randomize everyone's names. And the name on top is going to win a box of 2019-2020 Panini Impeccable Basketball. You can see the three boxes on the Nick Cam above my head right here. So we'll select one of those three right there at the end of the break. That's a $1,000 value, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty good. You can... You can open it if you want to. You can sell it. We, we, we'll ship it to you sealed. We can uh, sell it. You can sell it if you want to. You know, it's, up, it's yours. We'll send it to you sealed. You can do whatever you want with it. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action right here. Really appreciate it. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. And thanks, to, and thanks and congrats to the people who got into those cello pack breaks to try to win spots. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one, seven times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. Brian down to Kenneth after seven. Six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and and seventh and final time. After seven, OKC down to the Hornets. Uh, no, we will. I will not open it live. They will be shipped to you sealed if you're the winner. We'll let you decide if you want to open it or not. Put it in your hands. Brian with the Thunder, Jesse with the Heat, Darren with the Lakers. Got my Lakers. Johnny, Rockets, Bill with the Pacers, TJ, Celtics, Diane Mavs, Johnny with the Magic, Matt with the Nets, Ross with the Warriors, Andrew with the Cavs, Matthew with the Kings, Andrew with the T-Wolves, AJ with the Raptors, Matthew with the Bulls, Derek with the Jazz, Chris with the Wizards, Asa with the Knicks, Jeremy 33, you got the Hawks, Jesse with the Suns and Clippers, Pano with the Spurs, Frank with the Nuggets, Jesse with the Grizz, Frank with the Sixers, Trail, uh, Trailblazers for Matt, H, Matt W with the Pistons, Craig with the Pelicans, Pano with the Bucks, Kenneth with the Charlotte Hornets. Let's alphabetize by team name. There you have it. Let me know if you need to see your teams again. Once again, here are the boxes in the break right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we got some teams available for trade. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, um, Shipments will be delayed, not on our end. We're going we're gonna to ship this out as quickly as possible as we normally do. But the Postal Service, they're just slammed. So just keep that in mind. Um, when we print out the label, when you receive that order, the tracking number, then that package will leave that day. Now from there, they're not going to really, it seems like they're not scanning those uh, packages too often, if at all, just because they're so busy. They're just pushing them through the system as quickly as they can. So a lot of times it's going to seem like it's staying, it's stuck in LA. It's not. It's on its way to you. They're just not scanning it. They're too busy. So just keep that in mind. And not only that, there's also just going to be uh, delays in general. So you may normally expect your package to arrive X amount of days, three days, for example. Attack on another one to five business days on that for delay. Now, if it's past that, then you can reach out to us. But more often than not, it's just going to be a few more days later than you normally expect it. So we appreciate your patience on that. I know it's a little inconvenient, but these are the times. All right, so we got some uh, we got some people wanting to trade. So I'm going to pause the video, allow another minute or two for trades, and then we'll see uh, we'll see if there's any trades, and we'll be back for the break. Stick around. And we're back. The trade window is closed, and as you can see, there was a deal that well, there are a lot of trade chatter. But there was a deal that got done between Matt and Ken. So Matt is out of the King spot and now has the Hornets. 
And Ken is out of the Hornet spot and now has the Kings. Now let's print. Let's rip. We'll put T next to there for trade in case you're following along at home. And here's all the boxes right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's start with the oldest box, which I think is the elite in front of me, 13, 14. All right, and this is your Oladipo class. Oladipo, Giannis, obviously, Rudy Gobert, so on and so forth. <clears throat> All right, here it is, 13, 14. Kyrie on the front. Good luck, everybody. I forget where... Uh, where Siakam is, what what his rookie year is. I guess we'll find out once we. I'll be going through the uh, quickly going through the draft classes with each with each year that we do. Maybe sixteen. Yeah, I'm thinking sixteen. Sixteen seventeen. Derek, yeah, Derek saying 16, Jesse and Derek saying 16, 17. Adam Silver doesn't expect NBA decision until May. By the way, I'm just seeing, looking at the the uh, ESPN ticker here. Lakers having select senior staff members deferring 20% of their salaries. So lesser income employees don't have to face pay cuts. That's good on them. I think I feel like a lot of NBA teams are doing that. Oh, and Derek was also, I think it was Derek, was mentioning the... Uh, the new Shaq special documentary, like a two-part deal? Is it more? I'll be on TNT on Thursday. I'm sure we'll be watching that together. Not sure what it's about. About Shaq. About Shaquille O'Neal, but... All right. All right, good luck, everybody. Sean Corbett, what's up? You're watching The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez Jesus, the Colombian author? Is that who you're talking about? There's Shane Larkin to 499. That will be for Dallas. Wait, where's that list I printed out? There you go, hot off the presses. There you go. There's the final print. There's the trade right there. There's everyone else right here. All right. So this Mavs Shane Larkin is going to go to um, Diane, who got randomized the Mavs on that. I need to make myself a bit of room here. So these numbered cards will sleeve and top load later. The hits I'll top load now. They'll just be top loaded later, just in the interest of time. Oh, okay. I'm thinking of I'm thinking of someone else then. Okay. 
it might not be the exact name of that author, but there was a journalist or author who or something like that who was speaking out against the Colombian government or something like that and something else. Why are you watching these dark movies, Sean? Mix in a little air butt or something like that. So Marcus Aldridge to 88, Trailblazers edition. Wilt Chamberlain to 999. No Yan Giannis's? No Giannis in here? Just just one base card would be would be nice. There's Alex Len to 9.99, and we've got a nice three color patch dominators. Tony Parker, four out of twenty, four twenty. Game worn too. That's a smoking hit for the Spurs. Pano from the Spurs. It's a nice looking patch in that little window. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk more. Air Bud. Yeah, Gig likes Air Bud Two Golden Receiver. Classic. Classic. Raymond Felton is your autograph to one forty nine. Elite signatures. That goes to the Knicks. That'll be for Asa. Drake, let's take it easy with those emojis there, friend. Come on now. And there's a throwback threads. Kevin McHale, 5 out of 20. That definitely looks game-worn there too, huh? Nice. That'll be for TJ Leonard and the Celtics. There's Chris Kamen Lakers edition to 91. And no no Giannis rookie cards in here, but onwards. I don't think I saw any Oladipo either. Jeremy 33, what's up? All right. Now let's go ahead from 1314 to 1415. Now we're going to save 1415 Lux until much later, but we will do 1415 hoops Donner's basketball that is not hoops but Donner's basketball from 1415 um 1415 uh Andrew Wiggins, Joel Embiid, Jabari Parker, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, Dario Saric Etc. Etc. Clint Capella's in this draft class too. Nikola Jokic. Etc. Etc. No, you you just dropped in, Jeremy thirty three. No bother at all. You have the Atlanta Hawks in this. I think you only got one spot straight up. Yeah, you got that spot. So you were randomizing the Atlanta Hawks. No Hawks yet. Some powerful shrink wrap there. All right. Dana White secures an island for fights. White did not say where the island is or what cards will be held there. Hmm. 
So I guess if someone gets like COVID-19 at that island, they'll just lock down the island. I guess I, I guess that's pretty safe if you have you can you, it's an island you're gonna be able to control who goes in and out so you might be able to to be able to secure secure it if need be yeah I mean I guess fight island right that's basically what it is Curtis you're right Curtis Myers fight island's gonna be amazing fight island. Now ESPN's not reporting where the island is. Is it, ha, has there been uh, has there been any rumors on the Twitterverse or somewhere about where this island actually is? Australia's in Australia. Well, Australia is technically a continent. You could argue that all continents are actually islands, if you think about it. Wow, so Dana White keeping it super top secret. No no leaks, no rumors, no spec what's the speculation? What's the early speculation on where it could should we speculate on where it could be? Press proof LeBron James. Oh boy, Philip. I sure hope not. Haven't they they should burn down that island maybe? Derek Favors. Uh the the Firefest, I don't know, it's somewhere in the Bahamas I think for the Firefest island. She should repurpose that island. That rookie card for Frank N. and the Sixers. And Zach Randolph, Game Threads. Zach Randolph game threads going to the Grizz. That'll be for Jesse H. Rookies Rodney Hood and Adrian Dantley. Is your autograph out of here to 125? That'll be uh, Utah Jazz Derek with that one. No, it's all right. It's a longer break, Jeremy. 33. We can go a little off off the current sport topic. Um, yeah. I well, I haven't really. I have to admit, I don't know the full details of the of the MLB plan for Arizona. I, I saw a report. I saw that Jeff Passan had reported a bunch of stuff, but I haven't really looked into it. NBA season not done yet. <laughs> Adam Silver said they're going to wait until May to figure out where they can actually go. There's Victor Oladipo game threads. So what are the details, Jeremy? Or what are some of the pertinent details on here? By the way, that Courtney Lee was either 6 out of 6 or 9 out of 9. I'm thinking 9 out of 9. That's a weird number. That'll go to the Grizz as well. That'll be for Jesse. I don't know. I'll I'll look up, I'll look up the details.
But they, yeah, but baseball seemed to be, from what little I saw, baseball seemed to be pretty aggressive about how they want to set it up. Rajon Rondo to 999. So they're going to hold all the games in Arizona. And then all players just lock down in what their spring training facilities or something? That's kind of rough for how many games. Now Sean Corbett is a jokester, so I don't I don't know or if I could trust whatever he says there. Can someone else confirm that? All right, fourteen fifteen is in the books. What about? Is, do we have any fifteen sixteen? No. 1617 select Sure. Well actually let's do the uh, let's do that first. Let's get this contender's draft out of the way. So Jeremy's saying hotel transportation game hotel. So they're just stuck in hotels. Yeah, no fans for sure. That that's what I figured. Uh, what 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 same thing did you hear, Todd? Can someone confirm the electronic strike zone too? That could be interesting. I mean. It'll be interesting to see like what kind of rule changes, what kind of rule changes, uh, like Major League Baseball wants to do, like to to force into play and be like, oh, it's because of distancing. I guess we have to shoehorn in that electronic strike zone that we wanted. And yeah, Arizona's a good yeah, Todd Father. Arizona's probably a good spot. What else? Is that is that seven inning? Are you being serious, Sean, today? <laughs> or waste my time, Sean, today? Seven inning double header thing is real, too? So they're going to shorten the games and then do double headers? Could be interesting. Plan to chase, plan to use Chase Field and other spring training facilities. I love baseball, Curtis. Why do you think it's going to cause people to be pissed? No, I think it'd be it'd be the players will be still out and about while families have to stay inside and not that causing people to not social. Dis I disagree. I think I think it would be such bad optics if any player was caught out and about. So I don't think they're I don't think they'll be out and about at all actually. <laughs> I think if anything they'll be even more heavily quarantined. Cuz it'd be such bad optics. They'll look at it as my job, not but base. Well, I mean, there's always going to be people like that, but I, I'm sure that's probably the pers a person who probably doesn't think base sports is essential. But I think to a lot of us, it is. Wait, did I miss a Brandon Ingram cracked ice? Sorry, I was busy looking at the chat. Is that what you're saying, Jeremy33?
Uh, school colors, Brandon Ingram. No, no cracked ice in here. Oh, you're call you're call okay, sorry. I'm calling it. Oh, and there is DeAndre Bembry. I think he's still with the Hawks, right? Yeah, Atlanta. And we got Malik Beasley. Malik Beasley back then was Den still is Denver. Minnesota got traded. That's right, but Denver most of the time. Uh, that'll be for Frank N. You know, Rex, it's been reported here in L.A. recently that crime across the board is down. Except for car theft. James Webb III car theft is up, which I thought was interesting. I have no idea where James Webb, I've never even heard of James Webb III. Let's say Brooklyn on this. All right, Matt with that one. There's Sean Long, Louisiana Raging Cajuns, apparently, at Lafayette, huh? Frank with that one. Frank, you also get that Ben Simmons rookie card too. Since his autographs are exclusive to uh, Upper Deck, consequently, his base cards in almost every set has a boost in value. That's uh, Timberwolves, I think. I think Niang's a Timberwolf. Show me T-Wolves. Oh, Pacers, I think, that year. He went Pacers, then Jazz, but Pacers in his root in the 16th century. Hmm. Who am I thinking of then? That'll go to Bill. Another Ben Simmons school colors this time here. 
All right, are we still saying 16, 17? I think so. Select, I think, is next? Sure. Yeah, 16, 17, select, right here. I, again, Ben Simmons here, Brandon Ingram, DeMontis Sabonis, Buddy Heal, Jamal Murray, uh, so on and so forth. Pascal Siakam is this particular year as well. Sorry, I know, Todd, sorry. These, these players should be socially distanced more. But we have coded... We have coated every one of these penny sleeves with uh, with some sort of sanitizing san sanitizingness. So I know Rex likes to take it that direction, Jeremy Thirty Three. Sure you did, Rex. You you jumped right into no. You we were just talking about restarting baseball in Arizona, and then you jumped in with with the domestic violence rates and all sorts of sad stuff. And no, we're gonna nip that in the bud right now. Yes, in, yes, Sean Corbett. Inside the penny sleeve, we've also sprayed them down each individual one with hand sanitizer. No, not Obla, Rex. That's exactly what you did, man. So let's try to keep that to a minimum. There's Seth Curry to 99. Mavs die cut for Diane. And LeBron James. Not lies, Rex. I'm serious. Just take it easy with that sort of stuff. Just in general. All right, Cavs goes to Andrew. Scoring Dragic, 97 to 99. Autograph for Miami. Jesse. Jay Crowder. There's Ben Simmons. Nice. So that goes to Frank. Sixers. Jalen Brown. Oh, points. Boo. All right, there you go. Next one. So are we in seventeen, eighteen? Seventeen, eighteen. That's that's not what it is. You know what you did, Rex. So we're not going to discuss this any further. All right, totally certified. All right. Mm, I that I don't know. I don't know how we do shipping or uh, eBay shipping when we did eBay international stuff. Does anyone have a have an answer?
Anyone have an answer for Jack B who ships internationally via eBay? Josh Hart, rookie roll call. My Lakers. Darren McKenzie. We pulled a couple Zions out of that impeccable, Randy. It's been all right. It's been all right. Oh, this is second year Ben Simmons. These purples are not numbered, by the way, but they will ship. DJ Wilson to 249. I would... Uh, Let's see, what, what year are we going to now? 17, 18, 18, 19, Optic Retail, right down here. We're almost done here, folks. I think it should be. That's, that's not true, Rex. Well, I'll see you then. Sure, Jeremy. Sure. Seventeen, eighteen. This is the. I have the drafts up. This is the Jason Tate. Oh, this is the Jason Tatum, Lonzo, Markel, Fultz, Donovan Mitchell, Bam Adebayo, Kyle Kuzma year. Thanks, Ray. Yeah, I know. He's a handful, though. Wait, this is the wrong ear? No, this is the right ear. No? Oh, this is 1819? Damn it. This is the Luka Doncic, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton, Jaron Jackson Jr., Trey Young, Michael Porter Jr. year. I was like, wait a second, this more points. That's winner take all on the points. So here's what I'm going to do with these points. Is at the end of the break, the name on top is going to win one of these. If you can see the camera above my head, we'll win one of these right here. Um, and then the second name will get any and all points right there. And there is a hollow Trey Young for Jeremy 33. Nice. There you go. Was, were there more Trey Youngs back there? Well, that's the important one, the hollow one. 
That's not as important, but it's still nice. I guess S people like the SGA too. Let's pull one of those. All right, was there an, oh, the points. I was like, there's no autographs here. All right, where are we now? Maybe I think I'll do this and then we'll we'll move into this world this grouping right there. All right, now we're in the Zion year right here. Yeah, no one likes points. It, listen, I think points would be great if it was in addition to, not instead of. That's what I think. <laughs> There's just not enough of those 7,500 point cards, though. You know, a number of years ago, we used to, uh, a number of years ago when we got multiple points card, we would separate them out so more people can get fewer points, but I don't know. I didn't like that because then everyone's getting like at least two 250 points you can kind of group together and, and sell it as a lot for more than like a dollar. Zions and Jaws. Zions and Jaws. Where are you? Hachimura's too? I like Hachimura. John Wall. Seiku. Kemba Walker. AC Green. Autograph. Lakers. Dara McKenzie. Steph Curry. I think those LeBron James also second year card, but in his Lakers gear has been better. Yeah, that Dimboya. Well, once they pretty much got rid of almost the entire team, and Blake Griffin was injured for the rest of the season. Is that a different parallel there? Dirk Nowitzki, highlights. But yeah, then at that point, Sega Nimboya definitely had more of a chance to shine. There's a uh, Craig with the Pelicans. With the Nikhil Alexander Walker. There's Luka Samanich. RJ Barrett for the Knicks. That'll be for Asa. Kevin Porter Jr. card for the Cavs. Andrew. But yeah, people who are Pistons fans seem to really like Seiko Dimboya. I know that I know that we were sort of casually tracking his value from the beginning of the season. There's Kobe White uh, from the beginning of the season through up to when the season was interrupted, and uh, his value was steadily increasing. I don't know what it is now in this sort of marketplace, but 
I think people do like his uh, his upside. John Morant, that'll be for the Grizz. Jesse with the Grizzlies. And this guy seems to be legit for reals. Shaq, we'll be watching that documentary together. Documentary? Reality show? Whatever the, whatever you want to call it. Tamar DeRozan to 2019. Should we save a Darius Garland too? Might as well. Was Cam Reddish coming on a little late as well? I think he was the sort of higher round. There he is. Was sort of a higher draft pick. There's some Zion right there too. That I thought would get, or I thought would have been picked higher, A. And then B, start off the season a little bit hotter than he did. But this draft class, at least from this first year, this draft class seems to be pretty... Seems to be pretty strong. All right, so we can, let's get this group here. There's the RJ Barrett to 199. That's for the Knicks. That'll be for Asa. Nice Zion Williamson for the Pelicans for Craig. <laughs> Adam is oddly excited to collect mellow ball stuff next year. That'd be interesting. There's the Cam Reddish we were talking about here. I mean, he could end up being being the guy. I guess we'll end with one of these two here. So I guess Cornerstones from 1819 will go first. Is Melo for real? I've, I mean, I haven't seen any of his games past... Like what he did in high school. And that's it. I was not watching any uh, Eastern European games and Australia games. There's Trevor Ariza to 79. Although, I feel like we have some customers in, in Australia who are saying, he's actually doing pretty good. There's Udonis Haslam. Oh, and... Zaire Smith. There's Udonis Haslam, Elemental Autograph to 129. That'll be for Jesse and the Heat. There's Zaire Smith, just a regular relic. Building Blocks relic for the Sixers. That'll be Frank. And we've got Lonzo Ball. We're just talking about his brother. 32 out of 35. Nice quad relic and autograph. Not terribly pleased with the sort of the edge right there. It looks a little weird, but it's a nice one for the Lakers. Darren McKenzie. Actually, this might have to go into a sort of a thicker top loader here. Let's go with that. So let's see how Mellow Ball does. Let's see how his little brother does. All right, let's go into let's go into this, and we'll close out with that old Lux from fourteen fifteen. Sean saying what four he had mellow ball had four 20 point games in his last nine yeah apparently he's supposed to be he's more, more of a more of a scorer more of a shooter I guess more of a shooter than than his brother people like this upcoming draft class So it's, uh, that's what Huffman's saying. Oh, reddish for him in his last 20.
I don't even know. Oh, does he? What? What is? What position does Mello ball? I don't even know what he plays. Oh, a 6'8 point guard? Interesting. But Huffman saying without that range. I thought everybody was down on this upcoming draft class. I can't wait for... I don't know what year it's going to be, but it's soon. The year where they're eliminating the one-and-done rule. And so there'll be a whole class of of uh, high school players coming into the league and then college players coming into the league. So we got that Zion base for Craig and the Pelicans. Let's see what else we got in here. Those greens are not numbered, but they will ship. We got an instant impact, Zion. Another one for Craig. All those add up, Craig. Craig actually won that spot in the one of the cello pack breaks too. John Morant Green, nice. That's for Jesse and the Grizzlies. It's with the spot he bought straight up. It's pretty nice. Rookie penmanship, Grant Williams, Celtics, TJ Leonard. That'll be for TJ Leonard once again in the C's. And Lonnie Walker at the very end. Let's see what's in that Lux. The frame down there, let's hide that hit right over there. And we've got Kiki Vandaway, four out of 25. Didn't he do a duet with uh, Elton John? There is Kevin McHale.
Jersey and autograph, 22 out of 35 for the C's. T.J. Leonard with the Celtics. Then we've got JoJo White. 12 out of 60 die cut. This is a 14-15 Lux, I think, Caleb. Yeah, 14-15 Lux. But Lux always includes these old school guys too. So that's another Celtic for TJ Leonard. And the frame is going to be another old school guy, the Iceman, George Gervin. 38 out of 40. Nice, with the whiteout ink on there, that goes to Pano and the Spurs. All right, there you have it. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Now we got to give away... Let's give away some. Uh, let's go away some boxes here. There you go. One, two, three. So what? What should I do first? Let's do the. All right, here's what we'll do. So we'll take everyone's names. And then we'll put one, two, three right here. We're shipping these sealed, by the way. So it's up to you to wh whether you want to open it when you get it in the mail, when you want to open it, or if you want to sell it if you want to. You have both uh, opportunities right there. If you open it, definitely let us know what came out of there. We would be interested. I'd be curious to see what you got. All right. So for this group, the name on top gets the impeccable second name, Constellation Prize, two 250-point cards right there. And then we'll assign a box to you. Good luck. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight the hard way. Hard eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, Jesse with the points. And the winner of the box is going to be Johnny. There you go, Johnny Cannon, who won a spot in a cello pack break. Right After eight, gets a box. Let's see which box it's going to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's going to be box two. Two, one, three. Just like the area code in LA. There you go. Box two going your way. What a great mixer. Nice giveaway right here. This is what? $1,000? $1,000 box right here? We've got impeccable group break in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com if you want to do one of these tonight. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll find some more mixers and other fun stuff to do. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching us. Really appreciate everybody. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.